Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about interior and exterior angles of a convex polygon. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to accurately distinguish convex, concave, regular, and irregular polygons. Correctly solve for the measure of interior and exterior angles of a regular and convex polygon and correctly solve problems involving the interior and exterior angles of a convex polygon. Now, what is a convex polygon? A plane figure whose interior angles measures less than 180 degrees. So we call that a convex polygon. Regular polygons are convex by definition. So regular polygons, if you can still remember in our previous video, uh, previous lesson natin, regular polygons are polygons with uh, all the sides are uh, equal and also the interior angles are also equal. Okay, interior angles are also equal. So, regular polygons are convex by definition. So, ano nga yung convex? Ang sabi, it measures less than 180 degrees yung interior angle niya. Okay, interior angles. So, we have here, let's say, this triangle. So, etong interior angles, lahat ng interior angles niya ay less than 180 degrees. Okay? So, these are convex polygons. Now, what is a concave polygon? Concave polygon. It is a plane figure that has an interior. Take note of the article an. Okay? Ibig sabihin, isa lang. Kahit isa lang sa mga angles niya kahit isa lang sa mga interior angles niya, ay nagme-measure ng more than 180 degrees, then we call that a concave polygon. Okay? Concave polygon. So, we have here examples of concave polygons. Take note that um, we have here the interior angle. This is uh, less than 180. This is less than 180. This is also less than 180. But take note, this angle right here is greater than 180 degrees. Kahit isa lang siya, no? Kahit isa lang siya. But we consider this polygon as a concave polygon. Okay? Concave polygon. Same is true with this polygon right here. Itong polygon na ito, no? So, this is um, acute angle acute so more than 180 degrees uh, hinahanap natin more than 180 degrees this is not more than 180 not more than 180 but we have here etong angle na ito okay this angle right here is more than 180 degrees so kahit nag-iisa lang siya no but we call this polygon as a concave polygon okay concave polygon Convex and concave polygon. Alright. Now, interior angle. Review muna natin yung interior angle. So, when we say interior angle, that's the angle between each pair of sides of a figure that's inside the polygon. Okay? Inside the polygon. So, we have here, this angle right here is an interior angle. This is also an interior angle. And another interior angle. The measure of this angle is 60 degrees. Okay? Actually, ito din 60. Ito din 60, you know. So, one of the interior angles of this triangle is 60 degrees. Now, ano naman yung tinatawag na exterior angle? An exterior angle is the adjacent, adjacent angle of one of its interior angles. If you extend a line on one side. Okay? Extend a line on one side. So, the interior and exterior angles are supplementary. Okay? The interior and exterior angles are supplementary, which means that the sum of their angle measures 180 degrees. Let's have an example. Okay, this one, ito yung uh, triangle kanina, and one of its interior angle is 60 degrees. Now, if we extend a line, ito yun know, this line right here, if we extend this, we form another angle right here adjacent to this angle. Adjacent to 60 degrees, ito yung uh, angle niya, ano, 
Okay? So, that measures 120 degrees. Yung sabi kanina, ang sum daw ng interior at saka ng exterior angle ay 180. Tingnan natin. 60 plus 120, yes, it's 180 degrees or 180 degrees. Okay, so this is the interior angle. Yung adjacent niya na angle, if we extend a line, that is called exterior angle. Okay, so if we extend this one, if this is also, this is also um, 60 degrees, diba? So if we extend a line, uh, extend this line, okay, extend natin yan. So, this angle right here is also 120 degrees. Okay. So, this angle right here is also 60 degrees. Okay. That's also 60 degrees. And then, if we extend um, this line, pag mag-extend tayo, pang, 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 yung adjacent niya, this one, this is also 120 degrees. Okay. 120 degrees. Right? The sum of the measure of all interior angles of a convex polygon. Convex, remember, convex polygon, yung less than 180 degrees ang interior angle. Okay? Lahat ng interior angles are less than 180 degrees. That's a convex polygon. Now, ang sabi, the sum of all interior angles, sum of all interior angles of a convex polygon with n sides is given by 180 degrees times yung dot sa gitna. That's multiplication times n minus 2. Okay, n minus 2. That's the formula. Example, find the sum of all the interior angles of a square. A square has four sides, so therefore we have n equals 4. So we will use this formula. So we have 180 degrees times n minus 2. Okay, so that would be 180 degrees times n minus 2 equals 180 degrees times yung square has four sides, so 4 minus 2. And 4 minus 2 is 2, so 180 degrees times 2, that would be 360 degrees. Therefore, the sum of all the interior angles of a square is 360 degrees. How about the sum of all interior angles of a regular pentagon? Okay, yung pentagon naman. So, pentagon has five sides, ba? So, pentagon ito. This is another example. Okay, pentagon. So, ang, ang number of sides ng pentagon ay five. So, that would be 180 degrees times n minus 2. Okay? The same formula. So, that would be 180 degrees times 5 minus 2. So, that is 180 degrees times 3. Okay? Times 3. So, that is equal to, um, this is 3 times 0, 0, 3 times 8, uh, 24. Okay? Carry 2, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2, that's 5. So, that's 540 degrees. Therefore, the sum of all interior angles of a regular convex pentagon, of a regular pentagon, is 540 degrees. Okay, 540 degrees. Now, the measure of each interior angle of an n-sided regular polygon. You kanina, ang hinanap natin yung... Uh, lahat, the sum of all interior angles. Ngayon naman, ano ang uh, measure ng isang interior angle of an n-sided regular polygon? Again, when we say regular polygon, equal lahat ng, ng angles niya, equal lahat ng um, interior angles in particular and the sides as well. Okay? So, if a regular polygon has congruent angles, then the measure of each interior angle of a regular polygon is given by this formula. So, we have 180 degrees times n minus 2 over n or divided by n. Okay? Um, madali lang i-memorize kasi yung nasa numerator, ito yung formula natin kanina. Okay, finding the sum of all interior angles. I-divide lang natin kung ilang sides lahat yung polygon na given. Example, find the measure of each interior angle of a regular pentagon. Okay, find the measure of each interior angle of a regular pentagon. 
A regular pentagon has 5 equal sides, so n equals 5. So we will use this formula, 180 degrees times n minus 2 divided by n. Okay, so that would be uh, 180 degrees times n minus 2. Oh, kinopia lang natin yung formula divided by n equals. So, yung n natin is 5 kasi we are talking about a regular pentagon. Okay, n equals 5. So, that's 5 minus 2 divided by 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. Kaya we have here 3. Okay, 180 times 3 divided by 5. So, 180 times 3, that's 540. Okay, divided by 5 and that would give you 108 degrees. So, therefore, yung isang interior angle ng pentagon measures 108 degrees. Okay? Thus, the measure of each interior angle of a regular pentagon is 108 degrees. Now, measure of each exterior naman tayo. Exterior angle of an n-sided regular pentagon. Exterior angle. Remember, yung exterior angle, it's the adjacent angle formed when we extend. No? Extend the side of a polygon. So, if the sum of all exterior angles of a regular convex polygon is 360 degrees. 360 degrees. Okay, ayan. The sum of all exterior angles of a regular convex polygon is 360 degrees. Ipapakita ko ang example mamaya. Bakit yung sum ng exterior angles ng regular polygon is 360 degrees? Pakita ko mamaya um, ang example niyan. So, when uh, the sum of all exterior angles of a regular convex polygon is 360 degrees, then, the measure of each exterior angle is given by 360 degrees divided by n. Okay, n is the number of side of the polygon. Example, find the measure of each exterior angle of a regular pentagon. Of a regular pentagon. So, a regular pentagon has n equals 5. Okay, 5 sides yan. So, find the measure of each exterior angle. Ito yung gagamitin nating formula. So, that's 360 degrees divided by n. Okay, divided by n. And so, our n is 5. So, that's 360 degrees divided by 5. Okay, so that's 360 degrees divided by 5. And so, that is 360 degrees 360 divided by 5. Okay, that's 7. 7 times 5 is 35. That's 1. Bring down 0. 10. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10 minus that's 0. So, therefore, we have 72 degrees. Okay? So, each exterior angle of a regular pentagon is 72 degrees. This is um, an example or yung explanation about the sum of the angles, exterior angles, sum of the exterior angles of any convex polygon. Okay? Remember that the exterior angle is formed when we extend the line or extend the side of a polygon. So, if we extend uh, this side, ayan, so the interior angle is 60, the exterior is 120. Okay, so this is 120. If we extend this side right here, yung exterior angle is also 120 degrees. Ito naman, this is also 120 degrees. Okay? So, pag i-add mo lahat yan, yung exterior angles, 120, that is equal to 360 degrees. Okay? That's for a triangle. How about sa pentagon? Pentagon. So, dahil ang interior angle ng pentagon ay 108, pag in-extend yan, okay, so this exterior angle is 72 degrees. So, 72 degrees, etong exterior angle niya is 72, etong exterior angle, another 72, 72, 72. Pag in mo lahat yan, so, ilang 72 yan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 na 72, that's 72 times 5. That would give you 
360 degrees. Okay? The same is true with um, hexagon. That is still 360 degrees. So again, the sum of the exterior angles of any regular convex polygon is 360 degrees. Kaya nga yung formula natin kanina to find each exterior angle that is just 360 degrees divided by the number of sides. Let's try this. Example number one. Is the polygon below convex or concave? Again, convex. Okay, convex siya if lahat ay, lahat ng interior angles niya ay less than 180 degrees. Pero kung may isang, at least, kung may isang interior angle na more than 180 degrees, then that must be a concave polygon. Okay, so we have here, eto less than 180 to. Eto less than 180, this one less than 180. But this one right here, is more than 180. Ma'am, paano mo na, na sabing more than 180 yan? Wala namang nakalagay na number. Okay. If we draw a line, okay, if we draw a line, this is um, actually, eto, pag we extend, let's say, extend natin itong side na ito, o straight line, going straight line, that is 180 already. Tingnan nyo yung angle, lumagpas sa straight line. So, meaning, that's more than 180 degrees. Okay? More than 180 degrees. So, since meron siyang isang interior angle na more than 180 degrees, then this polygon is a concave polygon. Example number two, what are the measures of an exterior angle and an interior angle of the regular polygon shown below? Regular polygon. Anong klaseng polygon ba ito? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's an octagon. Okay, a regular octagon. But let's analyze the figure. The figure shown is an octagon and the number of its sides is n. So, n equals 8. Ano bang hinahanap natin? What are the measures of an exterior angle? Okay. Regular octagon ito. So, lahat ng uh, interior angle niya ay equal at saka lahat ng exterior angle niya ay equal. Okay, mahanap natin yung isang interior, yun na yung measurement ng lahat ng interior angles. Mahanap natin yung isang exterior, yun na ang measurement ng lahat, ng each of the exterior angles. Okay? So, let's find the measure of an exterior angle. To get the measure of an exterior angle, we use the formula 360 degrees divided by N. And so, that is 8 yung N natin kasi it's Octagon. So, 360 degrees divided by N equals 360 degrees divided by 8. And that is equal to 45 degrees. Okay? So, meaning, um, if this is an interior angle, interior angle, if we extend this side, okay, if we extend this side, this measurement, exterior angle, is 45 degrees. Okay? 45 degrees. So, lahat ng exterior angle, lahat ng exterior angles, each of them measures 45 degrees. How about the interior angle? Interior angle tayo. To get the measure of the interior angle um, of a regular polygon, we use this formula. Yung kanina, di ba? 180 degrees times N minus 2 divided by N. And our N is 8. And so, that is... 180 degrees times 8 minus 2 divided by 8. And so, 8 minus 2 is 6. And 180 degrees times 6, that's 1,080 degrees divided by 8. And that is 135 degrees. Meaning, each interior angle measures 135 degrees. So, each of them, lahat sila. Okay, each of them, 135 degrees. Alright? 